The American Chemical Society has what they call a speaker tour, and uh, basically they line up several places in a row that are geographically uh, close to each other, and I fly into one town, and then do a loop, and then I fly back out. Well, I'm chair of the Sioux Valley section of the American Chemical Society, and so as as chair, part of my responsibility is to schedule speakers to, to talk about chemistry to the general public. I chose the topics because I thought, I'm, a, I'm an avid coffee drinker, and I was interested in it, and I thought a lot of people here would be interested in it, too. Chemistry is tremendously important. Uh, but, uh, basically, this heat kicks off all sorts of chemical reactions. Uh, you're basically breaking down all these uh, molecules. They're rearranging. They're combining with each other in new ways. And uh, uh, the way it occurs, um, uh, depending on temperature and time, uh, affects what uh, different combinations you get, and that affects the flavor. Some of the chemical reactions keep occurring as you uh, continue to have hot coffee. Uh, it gets more and more bitter as time progresses. And, and everybody knows what that kind of coffee tastes like. My solution is actually turn it off right after you brew it. Uh, drink what you can, but uh, if you have some that's uh, not quite finished, maybe microwave it later just to warm it up. It won't be quite as good, but still it's better than uh, pot cooked coffee. I'm not a big coffee man myself. I think the, the aroma is more the most attractive part about it. But uh, um, I, I think just overall it's kind of interesting how it gets from uh, beginning to end. You know, I thought the uh, roasting process was particularly uh, illuminating. I didn't, I didn't realize how much was involved with it uh, just to prepare the beans before you brew them. I love coffee. Uh, there's nothing like a, you know the, the coffee right when it comes out. Uh, you know, coffee makes makes you feel real good. There's some people who are actually fanatics about coffee. They they keep looking for what they call the God cup, which is a kind of a transcend, transcendental experience.